at ngayon isa rin siya sa mga tumatatak na tinig sa Broadway. Sa opisina mismo ng batikang producer na si Cameron McIntosh sa New York, nakausap namin si Rachel. At ikwinento niya kung paano nga ba siya nakuha para sa role ng Gigi sa highly acclaimed production ng Miss Saigon. You were an established actress back in the Philippines. What made you decide to get the role of Gigi? I've been doing pop scene for 10 years when uh, the production of Miss Saigon London went to the Philippines for auditions. I was asking myself, I feel like I need to challenge myself. Am I happy with what I'm doing in the Philippines? Yes, I was happy. Like, I love performing. I love doing uh, concerts and recording albums. But I feel like there's something more that I could, can offer. Yeah, a lot of people were pushing me. That Shin, you have to audition for, for, for uh, Miss High God, and I'm like, no, Nico Kaya. I feel like, I feel like um, I'm not good enough. I, I didn't train. I only did the Little Mermaid and Tarzan back in Manila. But yeah, I just told myself I need to push myself and just challenge myself, and uh, yeah, that's why I auditioned for the role. So, ano na feel mo the first time you auditioned for Miss Saigon in the Philippines for the London role? Grabe yung kaba, in pressure. Then I actually didn't tell anyone about it except my family, of course. Kasi pag hindi ako nakuha na kahiya, parang <laughs> pressure nga naman. But yeah, I was so nervous. I auditioned for the role of Kim, and I was literally shaking in front of the director. Para ako wala sa sarili ko no nung nagaudition ako. Nung nakuha mo yung role. How did it feel like when siyempre kinakabahan ka, wala kang sinabihan? Tulala lang ako. I was in front of my laptop. Sabi ko, totoo ba to? Legit ba to? <laughs> Nag-email sa akin, ano? Yeah, I was overwhelmed and uh, I I told my mom first. Sobra akong ano, poker face ang sa'yo ko, ma. Nag-email yung Saigon. <laughs> Kasi hindi ko alam yung pakaramdam, ano. Yeah, I just couldn't believe it. And then I told my my dad about it also. When that email came, it didn't specify your role yet. They actually said, we know you auditioned for a different role, but would you be interested to play the role of of Gigi? Since I, I think that I was 27 at that time. Tapos nakalagay doon, nakabikini nga yung role. She needs to wear it. And I was like, kaya ko ba to? Ano, kumbaga, ang hirap mag-perform, diba? In front of like thousands of people wearing that and then singing at the same time. But then I said, I told myself, it's not about what I'll be wearing. Even Leia Salonga mentioned that to me. She said, people won't remember what you're gonna wear. It's your performance that will matter. I'm going to on the transition, you know, from being a whole song Filipino singer to then Gigi, the bar girl, and for Miss Saigon. The bar girl. Actually, nahirapan ako. Yeah, when I moved to London, when we started rehearsing, lahat ng, ng girls, I think, yeah, all of them did Saigona before. So, kumbaga sanay na sila. Ako yung newbie. Andun ako makikita mo ako in one corner, nagtatago. Ang daming adjustments na nangyari. Until lumipat kami ng theater, andun na with the lights and everything, costume, and also the wig. Yung wig nakatulong talaga yung bounce. Eh. <laughs> nakatulong siya sa character ko. I, I felt like a different person when when I first had everything on me. So. What was it like performing for, let's say, in London, a, a British audience? In the Philippines, I did mostly concerts. You know, it's totally different with um, theater. So theater, medyo ano eh, uh, so British, they're very reserved and calm, you know. Sa atin mga concerts, di ba sumisigaw yung mga sigaw ng ang audience? And I feel like in Manila, they want singers to belt, you know, to just be it. <laughs> 
ako kung baga ngayon hindi ko na kaya ko tumatanda na yata ako with theater naman feeling ko ito yung yung niche ko at nahanap ko na yung yung element ko kung baga from London ano yung transition mo from there for you to be here, right here where you are in New York? Actually, and dami nagbago. I, I learned a lot. I was in London for three, almost three years. Nung pumunta ako doon, wala akong alam sa buhay. You know, sanay ako laging andyan si mama, mama ko. But then when I moved to London, I just, I grew as a person and as an artist. I learned, I discovered so many things about myself. Kaya ko pala to. Ay! Mahihirapan pala ako kapag ganito. So, alam mo yun, natutunan ko rin alagaan ng sarili ko. It's so hard to get sick, you know? So, how does it feel like to have, you know, one of your dreams come true, landing a role in, in Miss Saigon? Uh, surreal. And I'm very grateful. It's just, you know, isang panaginip. Um, and I'm, I've been praying about things in my life and I feel like God has given me more than what I've prayed for, you know. So, I'm just really grateful. Sineta lang din. nanonood lang siya ng Miss Saigon, aminado si Rachel na minsan din niyang nasabi sa sarili na mapapabilang siya sa highly acclaimed production. Kaya naman nang makuha niya ang role ni Gigi, para kay Rachel, isa itong dream come true. How would you describe your life here in New York? I feel like a tourist, you know, to be honest. It's it's fun because I, since I've done the show before in in London for a year, ngayon alam ko na yung, yung character ko. I know the story of the show, so it's easy for me to do it. Are there any ups and downs of living in New York City? At the moment, ups and downs. Yun nga siguro, since last week nga nagkasakit ako and I was alone. It's really... It, it was tough. What is a typical day like for Rachel and Go here in New York? For the first what, two months, we're rehearsing every day and then show in the evening. So, ngayon lang kami. Kumbaga, this is my second week now. Medyo free na yung I'm, I'm free during the day. What do I do? I I go to the gym now. I have to. I have to get fit. It's really a physical show. I have to dance and uh, I'm not really a dancer. So I struggle every single night. So I, I need to keep fit. Every Sunday. Sunday is my off. I do eight shows a week. And uh, Sunday is very um, special and sacred uh, to me. And I go to church every Sunday and just treat myself. That's my cheat day. I can eat whatever I want. With doing eight shows per week, isn't that a little bit straining for your voice? How do you kind of maintain um, having that tip-top shape of your voice? First, I don't have any vices. I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't really go out. How do you keep yourself inspired uh, despite all of the challenges here in New York? I always think back, no, nangangarap pa lang ako sumasali ako sa mga competition, sa mga amateur competition sa Pilipinas, ano, sa mga barabarangay. <laughs> Bilagi kong binabalikan yan. The first competition I joined in was, uh, I was nine years old. And uh, I was the youngest among, amongst the com competitors. And I heard someone telling me, she's never gonna win. Tingnan mo yan, hindi mananali yan, hindi nung magaling. Tapos, I won. And then, I feel like, sabi ko, kahit anong sabihin ng tao, kahit ibaba ako, I will, things are, po anything is possible. I can always do it. Well, we watched your show last night and it was outstanding. Yeah, How do you, you keep up the energy, especially that you're working with some of the greatest talents mm -hmm. in, in Broadway? There are loads of talented people here in Broadway and I'm so, I'm so grateful that I'm, you know, I've been given this opportunity, so I don't want to mess it up, you know. I have to do a great job, and I feel like I am, God has put me here for a reason and for a purpose, so I need, I need to do my best. And you've been getting excellent reviews. Uh, were you expecting that? No. <laughs> no, because I'm like, I only have one song, and it's, and it's like half a song pa nga. It's like two minutes, diba? I wasn't really expecting anything, but... I was just focusing um, on giving my best and uh, and just um, sharing sharing what I have.
What can you say is your biggest challenge in playing the role Gigi? T bikini, wearing a bikini. <laughs> no. Um, biggest challenge, I guess, because I don't really have a long scene. It's just the first part of the show. The biggest challenge is to make a mark. That one song is the first, like, song that you will hear in the show. In talagang heartbreaking songs sa show. So you have to make a mark. You have to establish the whole show with that song. So yun yung pressure don lagi sinasabi sa akin nila, Claude Michel, you're the first, this is the first big song. You're watching The Global Filipino. Mula sa pagiging biritera, Malaking adjustment ang ginawa ni Rachel para sa Miss Saigon. Dito daw niya natutunan na i-relax ang kanyang boses para makuha ang tono ng kanta. Sabi ni Rachel, hindi madali ang theater production with a global audience. Pero bilang isang Broadway star, malaki ang papel ng passion at prayer sa kanyang buhay. Your performance for movie in my mind, like how intense uh, Feeling-wise, do you give to your audience when you're performing that song? Is it challenging for you? Actually, up to now, it's very challenging. Um, but when I first did it in London, I had a very hard time trying to understand the song. And yeah, it's just for me, like, how, how am I going to sing this? It's a very powerful song. I don't know how to attack it. Kasi nanggaling yun sa... When John, the engineer, John Jomione, slapped me. So it's just the emotion. It's just the intensity is like up up there. So singing it, it's really hard vocally because everything is tense. But now nahanap ko na yung placement ko. I can play with a song. I can play with the emotions every single night. Yeah, I guess the cha in challenge don in nakakanta ka na ng <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, it's just again not singing it and not being technical. Just tell the story. Hanap mo yung like place mo don. Yeah. So technique wise, do you think that you've evolved from being a biritera oh, oh. to a Broadway star? Tati kasi birit lang ako ng birit hanggang sa paus na ako, de ba? Magkakasakit na ako and I didn't know that. Akala ko um, maybe I was just tired, you know. But you know, malina pala yung placement ko every time I sing and. Um, Eight shows a week, hindi biro yung eight shows a week. Dun ko natutunan how to face myself, be gentle with my voice, and just be calm, and when to hit the, you know, birit part. So now, before every performance, kinakabahan ka pa rin ba? Every single night. And I feel like it, it helps me. It's good. It, fe it means I care. I care doing the role, I care about the show. Any advice to the singers back in the Philippines who wants to make it here on Broadway in New York or in London? First, you gotta know your purpose. What's your goal in life? And if you really wanna do it, you have to have the passion. It's tough. It's so hard to get in the business and the scene, but everything is possible. Prayers is a, a big part of of where I am at the moment. Ngayong buwan, you're watching The Global Filipino. Para kay Rachel, para nagbabakasyon lang siya habang nagtatrabaho. Dahil mahal niya ang pagganta, talaga namang masaya siya at naisashare niya ang kanyang talento. Tell us what it's like to have actually a job that you love and binabayaran ka for that. Ay, ang sarap! <laughs> Sabi ko nga kanina, diba? I feel like I'm on a holiday with allowance. <laughs> diba? I mean, it's, it's a dream. New York City is such an amazing place to be. There are loads of opportunities around. And uh, actually this week I'll be meeting with loads of 
casting directors and the TV stations. Nakakatuwa dahil I wasn't really expecting that and kumbaga dumarating yung yung mga opportunities ano. So, which is good. I'm very nervous. I know this is going to be an amazing night. Now, do you feel that you've made it? Ano, nang hininga. I am very happy with what I have and what I am doing at the moment and I feel like I made it. Yes, but I have so many big dreams. Marami pa, marami pa, but at the moment I am very happy and I am very grateful with what I am doing. Mm -hmm. So this is my big dream small. Oh yeah. Ano yung dream Woo! role? Gusto <laughs> mong magawa. Oh, dream role. Well, I'll be doing that soon. I'll do it, Eliza. Yep. Thank you, God. Um, what else do I want to do? I want to do TV. I want to do film. I want to record an album here. So, napakadami, you know. But then, at the end of the day, it's not about that. It's not about being in West End, being on Broadway. It's about sharing what you have, your talent, and being the light. What in the Philippines do you miss the most? Food. Nako, adobo kare kare ya, mga yan. Yan talaga food. Kaya natuto na rin ako magluto kasi nga kumbaga wala, walang wala si mama to cook for me. So now I know how to cook it. So every time I miss it, yun. Pinoy food talaga. How is it like working with other Filipinos in the production cast of Miss Saigon? Make me pag a family ba kayo? Not just the Filipinos, ano, pati iba't ibang lahe. And actually, tomorrow nga eh, someone's gonna bring a rice cooker. So, and a lot of, John John will cook adobo, I might cook uh, gising gising. So, ah, yeah, it's just sharing the, the culture also. Maraming Pinoy na hindi lumaki sa Pinas, so hindi sila marunong mag-Tagalog. And they always ask me to talk to them in, in Tagalog so they learn. Tell us what is that one trait that you possess that made you a global Filipino? Ooh. One trait, I, I, I believe in myself. I believe in myself and uh, I think that's the most important thing. You gotta trust in what you can do and you will go a long way.